else should if, I... Assuming you get to do an indicated interview with him, please ask him. Oh, uh, 1,000%. That's all I'm talking about. El Shaddai Van Hosen in the very colorful blue, black, and yellow. You can see Trent Mauser in the black already dealing with the grappling of Van Housen. Van Housen, just an imposing man. Just literally manhandled Trenton to the ground right there. Now some ground and pound. You can see Mauser trying to work on a bit of a uh, ankle lock here. Dave, is he close to getting it? You know, <laughs> it's... It's a strange thing with the, the shin clip pads on, you know? It, it makes the grip a lot easier, and that's one of the reasons why you're also not allowed the heel hook. You know, really tough decision here by Mauser to welcome the grappling of such a accredited, uh, you know, wrestler in Al Shaddai. I would have assumed that he'd make every effort to get back to the feet. Absolutely, but it is the big pisser giving him the opportunity to do so. Doesn't look like it. Just smothering top pressure here. You he know, I, I wish there was ground and pound in this because I would love to be able to say the big pisser delivering a shot to the kisser. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we might have the opportunity. Oh, There's a big oh. left hook. Down goes Mauser. Kenny briefly halts the action. Because he can strike the head of a downed opponent. Was Mauser down? It yeah. looked like it was, yeah. I, I don't think it looked somewhat in, like uh, incidental because Mauser was rolling out and it looked like he was targeting the body. He kind of rolled into it, but nonetheless, it's still, it's still, still a foul. Strike, yeah. Good awareness by referee Kenny there to pause the break and, and you know make sure that we all acknowledge the rules. Trenton Mauser gets a well-needed breath of fresh air as he returns to the feet, but Al Shaddai Van Hosen probably gonna bring him back down. Oh! oh! Trenton Mauser eats a big check left on the way in. Look at this, Van Hosen just swinging in the pocket. Mauser content to let him here. Big kick briefly pushes El Shaddai back, but I mean, Van Housen's just a thundering individual. Oh. The composure from El Shaddai is, is impressive. Exactly. It's that years of competition as a wrestler. Look at the control that El Shaddai is exercising. Trenton Mauser just on the back foot, trying to find any opening to either circle out or get his own offense going. He's already looking kind of tired, James. Yeah, Trenton Mauser looks like he ate a big shot, like on the ear, looks like his ear is bleeding. Yeah, that big left hand from El Shaddai. Takedown attempt by Trenton Mauser. 60 seconds remain in round at number one. Once again, have to sort of question the IQ there of grappling the accredited grappler. Yeah. Now El Shaddai working on that right arm, Dave. Yeah, yeah you know, looking like he's trying to set up a key lock here. Oh, this could be it. Van Housen, with the grip like a cobra, twisting that arm. Mauser doing a great job of lowering his own shoulder. Like getting the elbow high in the air. You actually want the elbow like that, back towards the hips. Oh, Van Housen not giving any mercy here. 30 seconds remain in round number one. Trenton Mauser busted up like a balloon, James. Absolutely. I think, again, it's that big left hand that Dave was mentioning. Full mount. Oh, man. I mean, Almost. a super heavyweight on top of you, Dave. That's a lot of pounds to wear. Yeah, that's, that's a big pisser. <laughs> There's another submission attempt. Trenton Mauser with 10 seconds. Can he survive to the second round? Oh, it's looking tight. But mm -hmm. Van Housen relents, mm -hmm. and we make it to the second round. He's doing a good job not overcommitting to the submission attempt. Exactly. The composure, very impressive from Van Housen. El Shaddai with a really clean performance through three minutes. I mean, the grappling was dominant as expected. Trenton Mauser had a couple moments on the feet, but it was largely El Shaddai. Here's the moment. Bit of a left hook again. I mean, it, it, it did very much seem like he was up in the air for that. <laughs> and then he gets kicked in the head by Kenny as Kenny's trying to break it up. Oh, poor guy. Rough first round. Trenton Mauser leaning over some deep breaths inside the corner. James, what do you make of the body language? Uh, he's not speak The body language does not speak to me of a man who's feeling very confident. But after that first round, we can understand that. What we need to be able to do is find some hope, find some courage, find some push. We know that this fight did come together on fairly short notice, but from what I understand, Trenton's co coaches were very insistent that he was ready. El Shaddai Van Housen and Trenton Mauser arrive at the second round. Look at the cup on Trenton Mauser. I mean, that is a, a quite a large cup. <laughs> I don't mean to, you know, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, would you call it a big pisser, Ben? I, uh, well, you know, who knows? Van Housen probably going to get back to work in the grappling. Mauser with a big kick. Oh, right hand right there. But he is seemingly stumbled. This could be it for Trenton Mauser. Mauser 
may be out on his feet. Here comes Van Housen, just putting the pace on him, Dave. Yeah, Mauser, all of his strikes are very labored. And, you know. and that's gotta be like shooting into a brick wall. Right. When you shoot in <laughs> into Shadai into Shadai like that, man oh man. I mean look at the strength of Van Housen to just kind of he just power his way out of that single leg attempt. Yeah. Now just collapsing him like a pretzel. He just used some he separated the head from the takedown, used a seatbelt control. To his credit, Mauser trying to pull some interesting like Granby roll guard defense here. You know, if Trenton Mauser has proved one thing, he is surely flexible, Dave. Yeah, you know, I'm actually impressed by the big pisser. You know, <laughs> he, he's, he's very nimble. He, he's more flowy in these positions than he is, you know, putting his weight down. And it speaks to his IQ here. He, he realized that it wasn't really in a position. He was wanted to follow that transition and come out on top in an advantageous position. I was actually very impressed by that. Really great submission defense by Trenton Mauser. I know that there's, you know, definitely a, a, a bit to criticize here from the performance, but he's done an exceptional job of not being finished. 140 left in round number two, and again evades James. Yeah, Mauser kind of almost did him a favor there. The way he kicked his leg, the, uh, Eli was able to to bring that elbow down towards the hip was the most effective. What it looks like though is Eli is using that, those Americana attempts in order to get to the mount where he can either maintain control or possibly look for an arm triangle submission. Yeah, he, he's almost too focused on that key lock. You can yeah. see referee Kenny's getting in deep on that one. El Shaddai bucked off momentarily. Trenton Mauser regains the guard. This would be a wildly different fight if it wasn't under the novice rule set. Absolutely. And you have, no, I mean, in, interesting choice by Mauser to pull guard here when he had the space that he could have potentially stood up. I don't know if he's got the the cardio left in the tank to stand up. Yeah, again, this fight did come together on pretty short notice. Uh, Van Housen was supposed to fight oh. another fighter. I think another two or three fighters, actually. Brought and back to the feet, 45 seconds in round number two. Trenton Mauser, labored breathing. Here comes El Shaddai. Oh, big shot by Mauser, though, sneaks through. Yeah, I mean, oh. these, are, these are huge guys, so any shot that comes through could be trouble. Mauser just loading up like a 50 caliber, but Van Housen wearing it well and just putting on the pressure. I mean, that's a barrage of strikes. Trenton Mauser so labored. I mean, he's barely keeping the hands up. Yeah, every labored punch that he throws and misses on is further oh. draining his gas tank. Oh, Van Housen connecting. Oh, Mauser trying to evade, but Al Shaddai pouring it on. Ten seconds remain, Dave. You know, I don't know if, if he actually went down or that was a, a fight IQ thing of actually taking a knee and, and helping himself there. Actually going down kept him into seeing this third round. I wasn't sure, it almost looked like he was trying to circle out but didn't have the space to, and maybe stumbled or just said, you know what, forget it, I'm gonna take a knee. This title eliminator makes it to the third and final round. Trenton Mauser with a mountain of adversity against the big pisser, El Shaddai Van Housen. And you know, to Van Housen's credit, his cardio is holding up. This is the first time he's seen more than the second minute of a fight. You know, when we, not necessarily uh, criticized, of course, but observe these rule sets. Like you mentioned, this would be a completely different fight. James, take me through some of these highlights. Big labored kick there. Again, the naked round kick that I critique so often that allows Ooh. Van Housen to get so close where he can let these hands go. Here we see the, the closing moments. Ah, I needed like two more seconds on that to see what happened in those closing moments. Yeah, the, the big pisser's looking to flush this fight. <laughs> I couldn't resist. It's kind of, kind of a dad joke, but I couldn't resist. El Shaddai, Van Housen, Trenton Mauser. One would think in a title eliminator, you'd want a stoppage, you'd want a statement when you uh, you know, contest for that heavyweight throne. Interesting little conversation between referee Kenny Vasquez and Trenton Mauser there. I'm not quite sure what was said. Trenton Mauser staying still as the bell brings in round three. Van Housen, center of the octagon, but patient. Neither guy really wants to expend unnecessary energy. If I had to guess what that conversation was, I, I would guess that Kenny Vasquez was letting him know that if you don't show me something here, I'm going to stop the fight. Yeah. Trent with a big jab. Van Housen evades. Really nimble for such a large guy. I mean, oh, left hook catches Trenton Mauser. Kind of bounces back against the cage, but there's a step in knee. He is looking absolutely labored, James. Oh, yeah, and eats a jab right there, does Mauser. Man, I bet. You can see he is feeling the fatigue for sure. I'm, I'm surprised at the hesitancy of the big pisser here to not, you know, come in for a finish. Seems like one combination could probably topple Trenton Mauser, Van Housen, giving him some time to breathe, some time to get back into this. 
you have to wonder if Van Halen's saying, you know what, I have an opportunity here to collect some minutes in the cage. He's not feeling too much in terms of danger. He sees a very labored, tired opponent in front of him. So you know what, let me get some more experience. Let me get some more, more cage time here. Clash of kicks right there. I mean, Trenton Mauser did not like the feel of that. Van Housen, really, really patient in round three. Yeah, I'd like to see him a little busier. Not, you know, I, I understand this. The, Kenny Vasquez urging both <laughs> fighters on. I mean, Van Housen, one right hand is probably going to spell doom for Mauser. 90 seconds remain. But if you're a Van Housen, you also don't want to run into something stupid. You are talking about a 265-pound man in front of you. He wings out a hand and you run into it. It still could knock you out. Big kicks right there from Van Housen. Each guy just kind of tickling the downstairs. Mauser, hands at the hips. I mean, just winging like did, a windmill. Did you just say that the big pisser was tickling downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> Mauser can, I mean, barely keep his feet under him. This is a, you know, again, short notice. Really can see... Oh, left hook sends Mauser spinning. Tries to come back, but nothing going. Van Housen evades. Jeez, at least. It, it, again, it really does look like Van Housen's just trying to be a little respectful of the fact that his opponent uh, took the fight on like three or four days' notice, and he's just trying to let him have the heart of making it through the third round. He almost looks like he's just kind of out there chewing gum, enjoying himself taking a stroll. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of oh. like, like you're saying, you know what, I can collect some more cage minutes here. Why not? You know that right. Oh, down goes Mauser. El Shaddai trying to find the finish in the final 30 seconds. Again, with the limiting rule set, no strikes to the head. Who cares? Hit him in the body hard, and that, that could end this fight. Ooh, he's, go he's going for the can opener. Can Van Hauser find a stoppage? Don't think so. Our title eliminator likely going to the judges. Very curious third and final round. Overall, this was a, a pretty perplexing fight, I would say, Dave. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of this third round here. I, I don't know if what James said, maybe the big pisser was collecting time in the cage or hesitant to walk into something. But, I, 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 you know, normally in a fight like this, when you see somebody as fatigued, you, you go for the kill. Then. Ladies and gentlemen, after three three-minute rounds, we go to our judges' scorecard for our decision. Judge A scores the contest 30-27. Judge B, 29-28. Judge C, 30, 27, with your winner by unanimous decision, El Shantai, the big pisser, Van Hosen.